Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How are we doing out there today? Everybody's all right. Good to see you guys. Welcome back again. Welcome back. Got the uh, I got the full screen set up here, so hopefully it's not too monstrous. Our lighting condition isn't the best though, but uh, you know it is what it is. So uh, get a little bit more ambient light. Good to see you guys. You're here to witness the suffering. Well, that's that's certainly the plan. That's uh, that's definitely the plan. All right, so uh, we'll get that started in just a second. I guess I can move the webcam. Knocking it over. I think, yeah, that's a bit better. I think that's a bit better. Okay, how's everybody out there doing today? Hope you're having a good one. I'm going through uh, a music collection I have. I uh, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but on uh, Humble Bundle, they had a DRM-free music collection. And I've been going through it to see if I can add some like ambient music to the background of a stream. I'm going to change up the music on the stream starting screen, this stuff like that, so we can get some Citadel. tunes too. Zero by three hey, Oxygen. Three and just Thanks a lot for that resubscription, Malabi man. 16 notes. months straight. Really appreciate you and your support. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Prepare for the schadenfreude. Hey, Blue Mage, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. So I think I've got a I think I've got a song uh, starting a new start, uh, starting music for the stream start screen that's not as uh, not as heavy you know what I mean but uh, I think I'll use that and then I'll go through the rest of it and see if I can't find some stuff that we can just play in the background like if we're in a, a chatting scenario like we are right now or maybe I'll use one of those uh, you know Twitch safe. Uh, supposed Spotify playlists and whatnot. It is just a, a landmine, land uh, minefield out there with DRM shit. Does it say zero by three? Yeah, it says zero by three grams every time. Yeah, for Oxy, it does. All right, guys. So what we've got today, we uh, we what I've decided to do is I've got uh, now we got the four suckers here. We we've got Black Ant. Uh, okay, well, it, oh, it's doing the background blurring on it. There's a black ant. Okay. Uh, we've got a mealworm here. Uh, we've got a cricket. Cricket pop. And scorpion. Now, because of the time it takes to, you know, get through a sucker and whatnot, which uh, uh, is more than actually three for a Tootsie Pop, unless you're an owl old reference i'm showing my age you'll uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save those for other streams like um when we get back to beyond two souls i'll actually have the webcam on and we'll work on one of those through those streams hey jingle horse how you doing uh jingle Hore, is it sorry about that hi welcome to the stream how you doing good to see you hope you're having a good night tonight you're gonna make dinner while i suffer okay okay thanks hearts um but yeah, so we're going to save the suckers for four other streams um, and work through them on each stream. One, two, three, crunch. Yeah. And uh, we'll do we'll do it that way, because I think that's the best way without like, you know, uh, rushing through the sucker, et cetera, et cetera. It was a good commercial. It was. I mean, it, hell, it stuck with me this long. And, uh, uh, you know, the old Flintstone vitamin jingle and stuff like that helps keep kids strong and growing so we've got the four suckers but those won't be premiered tonight those will be on the follow-up streams beyond two souls and uh heavy rain and phasmophobia with our friends like heartsies here in the channel oxygen you got phasmophobia yet man okay we've also got now what we will be doing tonight on the stream guys is uh we've got larvettes and we've got uh, cheddar. Well, I need to turn off that background blur to get these in focus. Give me just a second here. There we go. He won't get it. Too sc too scaredy. Scaredy cat. Okay, so we've got cheddar cheese larvettes. Yum. We got barbecue larvettes. Looking forward to those more than the cheddar cheese. 
And then we've got Mexican Spice Larvettes. I uh, don't know what to expect from those, but I'm interested. Definitely interested. Okay, got those. We have Portobello Jerky. Now, my understanding, uh, now this is uh, sesame, ginger, and Korean chili. My understanding is this is actually like a vegan snack staple. So I'm really interested in trying it. I personally think it's going to be good, but I love mushrooms. So I'm not really intimidated by that. We'll just, we'll knock that out of the way first and then move our way up. We have the camel jerky here. Um, made in the U.S. in Newport, Rhode Island. Top ingredient is camel. So, so it's legit. I like that the top ingredient is actually camel. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, it doesn't get much more legit than that for camel jerky. And I am going to be trying uh, Camdy Quain. Uh, Clamdy Canes. There we go. Shrooms are pretty meaty anyway. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, uh, they're a great meat substitute in vegetarian and vegan meals. And you can make, uh, you make all kinds of things with mushrooms. I love them. Uh, I know people who don't. Uh, which is fair. It, for most of them, I think it's a texture thing, by my understanding, which, you know, fair to that as well. But I'll eat about anything, which I'm, I guess I'm kind of proving here right now. So, um, all right, now that I've introduced everything we're going to do, we got to uh, get that background blur back up. And uh, what do we want to start with, guys? We'll, uh, we'll start with the mushrooms, the mushroom jerky first. The Portobello jerky, and all of these products can be found on Amazon. As a matter of fact, uh, Members of my community here, Heartsease, Oxygen, uh, Blue Mage, uh, three of them who have already been in chat actually put in suggestions for what I should order and provided some of the funds for me to purchase these and, and try them on stream. So thank you guys for this, uh, for this very unique experience that we're going to share tonight <laughs> and uh, the fun that we're going to be having. So... Um, Immediately after opening this, after tearing the uh, the top off of it, there is a, definitely a whiff of the chili, and I haven't even broken the uh, the resealable seal inside. I just just got the uh, the top of it open, and that chili is already hit. So this might be actually pretty spicy overall. Uh, let's let's get this open. Mushrooms are a hit or miss with you. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh that's got some strong jerk chili smell to it. It really does. I'm getting a bit of the ginger too in the and the uh, sesame. So, okay. I mean, it looks it looks a lot like any other jerky. It feels uh it feels like jerky um not nearly as as strong or as stout, I would say, as a meat jerky would. Uh, it's been 10 minutes to get to eat. <laughs> okay, hearts, okay. I'm not dragging my feet. <laughs> I don't like it. We've uh, we've actually found a mushroom I don't like. Um, God, this tastes so much like something else. The texture. It's like something else I don't like that I can't I can't put my finger on it right now. Want to try it? It's the uh, mushroom jerky, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna get a uh, second tester in here. Go ahead and get you some of that mushroom jerky. It is, yeah. It's, it's a little bit spicy. It has a texture I can't place.
almost like twitch okay okay yeah that's good so what this is the texture of this is like a meaty twizzler that that that's real good yeah. that's real good yeah this is like a meaty twizzler with a chili spice <laughs> and that is that that's not pleasurable to the palate <laughs> at least mine okay so that was uh I don't I don't hate it okay uh, like if somebody shared some of this with me I you know I'd be like okay thank you you know take a piece nice but I wouldn't order it myself um definitely again like a meaty twizzler uh with with uh chili spice on it not not a fan all right let's try the second jerky what we're gonna do is we're gonna move up clam decanes last because i know i'm gonna hate that i know i'm gonna absolutely hate that so we're gonna go up to the camel jerky now i don't have high hopes for this okay go the camel jerky again get it to focus in there background all right like waxy yes yes jingle it, it's waxy like when it compresses it's it's like a wax mold all right so this is the newport jerky company uh camel jerky again uh just ripping off the top there's no smell that hits you right off unlike the uh mushroom jerky opening it now Okay. There's a uh there's a very light odor in the bag. That that's the only way to describe it. It's just barely any kind of scent in there. So here we go. Okay. Uh we're gonna try the camel jerky now. We're going to try. Killed my mic. Oh, we go. So. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear my jaw click or not, but that's how tough this is. My jaw is actually popping every time I chew. Nah, I got my. Uh... Ooh. Once it starts to give, yeah, it, it it's like normal jerky. Um. I thought it would be unique. I thought it would have a unique taste or flavor. It is just an extremely rough jerky. I don't hate it, but it also has no flavor. Um, all of its flavor is in the aftertaste, actually, which is which is still kind of like beef. So. It's not terrible. It's uh, it's extremely hard uh, to chew down. But uh, aside from that, it's just like regular jerky. Only you get most of the taste uh, in aftertaste with it, and it's not bad. I read reviews that this was horrible. Some of the reviews said this was absolutely terrible. That it had a horrible smell, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, no, um, the camel jerky seems fine to me. So. Okay. So we're an 0 for 2 for making the streamer want to throw up. Yeah, I, I honestly, I did think this was going to be bad. So that was a pleasant surprise for, for me. For me. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the Larvettes. Okay. Here we go. I just noticed these things have expiration dates. Two years, two years out from now, but that's just funny. Right? 
<laughs> okay, guys. So we got uh we got cheddar cheese, we got Mexican spice, and we got barbecue. Cheddar cheese is gonna be last because I'm actually not a big fan of it. I'm kind of neutral to cheddar cheese. It uh, it's just not my thing. So yeah, we get we in the good stuffs now. Let me get these bags over here. Okay. So uh we're gonna try the barbecue larvettes first. There we go. Original worm snacks. Ingredients, insect larva. It's always just not recommended for people with shellfish allergy. Okay, so take note of that. Uh serving size, one container. <laughs> All right. Uh, they looks like they come in a little pouch, so that's that's nice. In case you go fishing later, or you want to feed them to your uh, dragon. Okay, they are completely sealed. Try not to get them all over the room like a chip bag. All right, I got a handful of them here. They are they're definitely dried out. Uh I like how it, I like how the blur made it look like it was censoring it, like it's like it's a dick. <laughs> I'm about to put this in my mouth. All right. So, I got a uh, I got about 8 9 here. We're just going to pop back. Now these were the uh the barbecue. So here we go, guys. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. No, sir. It's, uh... They're like the thinnest pork rinds that you can imagine. Just, there, there's no satisfaction in eating them. None. And then they... They dust your mouth makes sense and it's just uh it's just unpleasant it's i don't i don't like that uh that's not that's not good and uh barbecue my ass that is that is that is not barbecue oh excuse me they are not doing good things Mm, to me right now, actually. Ooh. No, there is, there is, there's no pleasure in uh, consuming. The they explode in your mouth. Oh yeah, that that, that just <laughs> that was that was not pleasant at all. Okay, Mexican spice, Mexican spice lard. Gonna. We're going to try these ones. I don't imagine the texture will be any different at all. I, uh, uh, if anything, I imagine the flavor will be, hopefully. But uh, honestly, I don't think changing the flavor will go a long way to how I feel about eating these. Uh, it might surprise me, but I highly doubt that. Again, it's just like the thinnest friggin' pork rind you can imagine. Uh, very unpleasant. All right, I got about. Now I got about another 10 of them here in my hand. Bob them in. There they are if you want to see. So these are the, uh, here's the Mexican spice. Oh, I got some on my mouth.
<laughs> I hate these things. Oh God. Oh that uh No. I don't like them. Don't like them at all. There's no redeeming factor in these things. There's no redeeming quality at all. None. Oh god, it's making my nose run now too. No. Oh. I don't like the flavor of those. I don't like that like the flavor in those to me was bad as well as the texture. So that's just ah. Oh. oh. I had to break into the rescue drink on that. Ugh. Oh, about killed me. Okay. So we're on the last one now here. I am not looking forward to uh to cheddar cheese. I said I said I thought it'd be the one I didn't like the most, and I'm I'm afraid it's gonna probably gonna hold on to that too. So that's gonna be, you know, awesome. Uh ooh, okay. It's uh Oh, and there's a, this package has a crap ton of powder in it, too. I can't tell what's supposed to be seasoning and what's supposed to be Larvat. All right. Let's, uh, trying to get this open here, guys, trying here. Not sorry for the, yeah, yeah I, I I didn't imagine guys I'm sorry it took us so long to get to this but uh Thanksgiving did bad things to me and it kind of carried through the weekend <laughs> so but but I promised you guys we'd be here and we're here I'm, I'm feeling a bit better now okay so we got the cheddar cheese I I'll show it to you guys it's it's the same damn thing again I, I like how that blur is censoring it you know make a hell of a hell of a uh Thumb, video thumbnail just delaying the inevitable i'm not stalling all right so these are cheddar cheese larvettes and uh got about 10 of them again and there's a ton of powder in my hand so this is going to be particularly bad oh that's terrible Oh, God. Oh. Oh, that's the worst. Oh. All the cheddar cheese is cheddar cheese powder. It, it, ah, uh, it doesn't even. Oh, God. I'm going to put those away. Forget about them forever. Oh my god. That's terrible. Like with the other with the other ones they were successfully dusted with whatever they were supposed to be, you know, the the barbecue you could barely taste the <laughs> Excuse me a second. Mm. The uh the Mexican spice you could uh they were dusted with, but the the cheddar is just standalone powder that has done nothing. Ugh. Okay. It's in my cheek. <clears throat> all right. Eat the rest or all three flavors at once. I'll do all three flavors at once. I'm going to save some of these in case any members of the household, i.e. any of the kids, want to actually try them. But I'll, try, I'll, I'll, I'll do all three flavors at once right now. We'll do that. We'll do that lat. We'll do that now. Yeah, my, this is my community. <laughs> this is the community. I love them for it. I think. It, it. <laughs> thanks for those biddies, oxygen. Zero thanks, by man. Three grams, three and cheered. X three hundred. Okay. Uh, I've got some. 
cheddar cheese again. Uh, get the barbecue there. My desk is now dusted in cheddar cheese powder. All right, we'll get the barbecue over there. I'm getting about 10 of each again, guys, so it's going to be a fucking handful. All right. Just lost that. Takes just a second. Be sad if we didn't bully. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. More like cheddar Jesus Christ. What have I done to myself? You're not wrong. You're not wrong, Blue Mage. Not wrong. Oh, God. All right. Let's, uh, and then the Mexican spice. Here we go. You combine all these, you're going to have a bad time, okay? Yeah, I need to... There we go. Almost dropped one. All right, so I got a handful here now. Frog bot going off back to back. I'm not delaying. I have to reopen three separate containers. Okay, there we go. Got them packaged back up and I pull over. You know, I don't even know what that is. I'm not eating that. There was uh there was something there was something in with the larvettes. All right, there's no real way. Hey, TDC, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Told us that you have a handful like times on I know you're impatient. There. All right. <laughs> how you doing, TDC? Good to see you, man. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you've been doing well. And uh, no, I'm not eating whatever that was for a dollar because I'm already pushing myself here. Okay, so here we go. We made it all so much worse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, God. Give him a few more seconds. Okay, so, uh, Ugh. So the cheese was just as the cheese was, okay? There's, like, I ain't even got to go into any more on that. You know everything about that. But, like, there was so much of it, of the larvettes and whatnot, when I bit down the first time, it was like a dust explosion. I thought I exhaled dust. Or, you know, or powder. Ah, oh, that, okay, that was, that was the worst yet. That was absolutely the worst yet. Oh, would not recommend. That was the worst way to do it. Okay. All right. Oh, one got away from me. Of course, it's cheddar. Yeah. 
and we come to dessert, guys. Uh, get it, focus. You know, there we go. That'll work. Lambda canes. Got one out. And uh, again, guys, if you want to suggest any weird shit for me to eat or whatnot, join the Discord and hop in the Stream Stuff channel. Uh, suggest weird shit for me to eat. Uh, make a donation towards me acquiring this stuff because I am a broke ass streamer, bitch. And uh, I will happily, as l I will vet it first because if it has terrible reviews about broken packaging, it like that then i'm not gonna get it but if it's like average reviews or better like all of this stuff was then i'm 90 percent chance i'm gonna get it <laughs> so feel free to try that oxygen did find most of these yeah this one will probably be the worst um uh this was a combination of heartsies oxygen and uh blue mage again there is also I was playing with it and I dropped it. I meant the clam decay. Anyhow. Save them for your wedding reception next year. <laughs> ah shit. So uh um there's already a list on Amazon that has about double what you've seen here of stuff pending, including drinks. Um so yeah, a lot more interesting things. Let's try the clam decane and this will round it out for the night. No smell. Oh, I'm wrong. It it does smell now. The plastic uh the plastic bit's gone. And it definitely, it smells like clam. So, here we go. Nope. That bad. That bad. It is. It is the tail. Nope. I had. To, I had to nope out. I had to nope out of that one. It, it. It is. It is the taste. It is the taste of a raw, wet clam. It's not even like clam juice from a store. It is the taste of raw, wet clam. And my tongue is coated in it. My mouth is coated in it. The taste is still there. The only difference is I don't have the weight of the candy cane on my tongue right now. This is horrible. This is disgusting. This is really bad. That was the worst thing tonight. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. But the clam decanes were the worst thing tonight. The lemon water did a decent uh, did a decent job of getting rid of the taste. So thank God for that. But no, that was like once that hit the tongue, you could just you could feel it spread. You know what I mean? It just oh my god. Ooh. Okay. Well, tonight's champion. Uh, tonight's champion, and the only thing that ever made me bow out of it so far. A clam decane.
like for for that brief second i ate the veggie mic think about that jingle hooray thank you for the follow welcome to the channel welcome i ate i think part of the clam decay just went somewhere else oh there it is uh i ate the vegemite think about that okay i think the problem was with the clam decay is that with the vegemite you know you spread it on toast you you can get it out of your mouth you know what i mean you eat it really quick and it's gone and then all of the aftertaste is coming off of your breath with the clam decay even when i spit the the candy cane out the candy cane was just dead weight to the taste it just sat there coated lingering so they're both horrid for different reasons um the clam decay is the only thing i've bowed out of and that and even that didn't save me from it because it didn't matter the damage was done the the candy just got spat out the taste didn't so uh yeah <laughs> i got a mouthful of wet clam right now but i would uh i would be loath to try vegemite or clam decaying again anything else i would try again for lulz you know um or uh uh you know punish the streamer stream or whatever have you but uh clam decaying and vegemite no i would take okay i would take a stink bug uh jelly bean before a clam decaying If that gives you an idea of where it is on the hierarchy of, of uh, food hatred. I'm going to see if I can get some other people to try these, though, and maybe uh, try these, though, and maybe film their reaction at them. Uh, when I put this video up on YouTube, we'll see what happens. Grass soda is probably terrible, too. I was going to, I was going to order the sodas, but the shipping and handling doubled the price sodas themselves were like $18 and it was like $16 shipping and handling. And I was like, I could get, I could, I could sample like eight things on stream for that price, you know, or just the sodas and one other thing. So what we had tonight won. uh, for this round, we will do more. <laughs> we're absolutely going to do more because I find it interesting because some of these things aren't too bad. Some of these things are horrid, and it's fun. It's a great way to spend time with you guys, and, uh, I, you know, that's what it's about, hanging out and having a good time together. And, you know, I know you guys like watching me suffer. All right, with that said, we have, we've gone through everything tonight. Um, camel jerky's not too bad. The portobello jerky, the portobello jerky just... Again, wax. It has the consistency of wax, and uh, that's disappointing because I was hoping that it would that it would really be good. <laughs> More candy canes. Hey, I'll try candy canes in different flavors too, as well. You know, just uh, and I don't know. Sometime down the road, maybe we'll do a. Uh, oh God, you know what we could do? We could make a list of the worst things, and then make one giant compilation video. Well, what I mean is, you know, one compilation stream and then rank them at the end of that stream where it forces me to eat all the worst things. <laughs> Why am I saying shit out loud? Why am I even suggesting these things? Okay, but uh, with that said, um, so disappointed in the portobello jerky because I was really hopeful for it. I thought it'd be good. Um, and it, it, it's just like chewing wax. So that's unfortunate. The camel jerky is rough as hell. But just like any other jerky, uh, so it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm neutral to it. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 5. It's an average jerky. The larvettes, and, uh, you know, going up is the gross meter here. So a, a 10 is like a stink bug jelly bean to me. So uh, the larvettes range, honestly, from a 
a six they're a six and a seven just because they're dusty as hell and the cheddar cheese is the seven one um a five being neutral any meal that you'll eat and and down being bland as bland as crap stuff we haven't tried any of the suckers yet we'll do those on future streams um i think that's going to be interesting i don't know if the insect in each sucker will have its own taste but uh, it's uh, we're gonna see it'll it'll be interesting it'll be just a little side thing on the street uh, we'll we'll see about that and uh the clam decanes were definitely a 10 uh up there with the stink bug jelly bean uh the clam decane itself obviously and the uh vegemite so those are those are the three tens that we've had so far and yeah that that covers everything that we tried tonight so i want to thank you guys for that vegemite on a clam candy cake I don't think you're allowed to do things like that on Twitch. Okay. But so I want to thank everybody for being here, guys. Uh, you are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for joining me for this self-torture. If you ever think you hate me, hate you more than Oxy, remember this moment. I will do my best. Yoger, dude, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, we're just rounding up, man. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we went live about, about uh, 9 o'clock. So, but you can rewatch the video and I'll be uploading it to Twitch as well, Yoga. So it'll be up on Twitch tonight, or we're already on Twitch tonight. I'll be uploading it to YouTube tonight as well. So you can catch it there and see all the stuff right when you went to go make food. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Uh, yeah, short stream tonight. We've already made it through all the horrible foods, uh, but we will be doing something like this again sometime as well. And, uh, we're going to, uh, to catch you up, we're going to be doing the suckers here um, on future streams because they take so long. I did not drag my feet. Every, every video requires an uh, introduction, doesn't it? Next video, it's gonna, I'm going to have all of them like open, and then, and then I'm just going to go live and just <laughs> on! Slam! End of video! <laughs> <laughs> the bug pops were great okay okay well i look forward to trying them we'll be doing those on future streams because of the time it takes you know to eat a sucker so um can you do that gesture one more no no <laughs> you're a mod you can go back and clip it <laughs> okay well i want to thank you guys again and uh have you thought of trying stuff like Kool-Aid with no sugar? Hmm. Okay. That that could be weird. Yogurt, you um drop ideas like that in the uh in the stream stuff channel. I know you're in the Discord. And if you got any other uh, you know, any other suggestions of stuff that could be ordered, you know, go ahead and put them there as well because we're building a uh, Amazon list. To order and try stuff and easy to make drinks i'll also try if i got to put some effort in it you know uh if i can just mix it up real quick but if it's like a recipe or something i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna make like some kind of special recipe but kool-aid with no sugar is kool-aid and water so i i'd give that a try can't be much easier than kool-aid yeah exactly soy thought do I have captions on? No, I don't have captions on. I should have. I should have. I, I forgot to put the captions on. Uh, bad on me. Damn, forgot to. So, there's that. We had three packets to one gallon? Okay, I might try that. No, I, I forgot to. I forgot to put them on, which is uh, unfortunately bad on me because, you know, I'm, I'm real big on accessibility. So I I just have to remember to do better. The clam candy cane is the only thing I've tried on stream yet that made me back out. That That's how it went, Soy. That's how it went.
On a scale of 1 to 10, the Clam Candy Cane is a 10. It is up there with the Stink Bug uh, Bean and the uh, Vegemite. Blade made us per directions makes your teeth hurt from how sweet it is. I live in the southern United States right now, so everything has butter and sugar in it. And accessibility is huge. Streams have captions, a lot easier to follow what's going on. Yeah, I, like I said, just I I forgot it tonight, uh, so I apologize for that, guys, and uh, I will do better in the future. Yeah, definitely. Uh, butter on the clam. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, the yeah, the clam candy cane was absolutely the worst. But we're getting ready to wind down here for uh, the night, guys. Um, as my bot liked to spam tonight, um, join the Discord, follow the Twitter. Hang out with us. We have a very active Discord. We actually do. Uh, might have uh might have a bit of a small discord but they are very active and uh fantastic people i i have the best damn community on twitch i'll argue and i legitimately mean it um yoga you can drop those in the uh uh let's see stream stuff yeah stream stuff should be good Any ideas you have, uh, just pop them in there, guys. Again, I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. And uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully there will be a stream tomorrow. There will be another stream through this week. We are Aussie Worgen. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? He caught us just as we're winding down. Also tonight, uh, tomorrow might be an interesting stream, guys. I... Tomorrow's stream might not be gaming at all. Tomorrow's stream might be me setting up new audio. And I don't have anybody to help me with that, uh, except for myself, if that makes sense. So I might just be broadcasting out to Twitch and checking it on my other monitor, seeing how I sound, seeing if I fuck everything up. Oh, we got a frog fat coming in. Give me one second. I'll get one of those up. And, uh, so if you feel like it, guys, swing in, we'll chat, we'll talk, because I'm going to be, have to be doing sound tests anyhow. So it'll, it'll just help me if you see me live and it's under like, you know, just chatting. You see my big dumb head here like it is right now. Um, well, I'll be trying to set up new audio, so hopefully I sound better than I do now. I don't know if I sound bad to you guys at all, but it's always, you know, the pursuit of trying to be a little bit better, right? All right, so let's get that random frog fact out. We haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, let's see. Still, my favorite frog fact is the frog that has the bite force of a lion. Prehistoric one. That was pretty damn cool. Most frogs molt once a week, but some will do it every day. Amazing thing is that once the old skin has been pulled off, the frog usually eats it. Okay. So I didn't know that some frogs molt daily. Jesus. Oh, okay. Wow, damn. All right, guys. But until we see each other again, thank you all so much once more for joining me tonight. And uh, I want to thank Oxygen for that resubscription. I want to thank him for those bit drops. Jingle, thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, thanks for being here, guys. Totally awesome hanging out with you. I look forward to seeing you guys uh, on the next stream, uh, even if it is just working on the audio. So until we see each other again, be good to yourselves and one another, and we'll catch you then. Good night.